Now I'm going to talk about ethics, my ethics. It's not a lecture about how people should think about ethics, it's more like what do I think about ethics. And it boils down to something really, really simple. It's doing that which helps, not doing that which doesn't help. It originates from a story with my oldest son, who was uh, three at a time, he's now 23. 20 years ago, he was screaming and uh, crying and uh, giving a bad tantrum because he wanted ice cream. And uh, I went down to him and I said, uh, Nicholas, if it helps to scream and shout to get the ice cream, you should scream and shout a lot. Now, if it doesn't help, you can just stop. And he looked at me and he wiped his tears and he said, okay. And I said, why did you stop? Because it doesn't help. Okay, so what do you think does help? And then he got this incurious look in his face and he said, uh, Daddy, if I do this and this and this for you, I can't even remember what he said, but if I do this and this for you, can I get an ice cream then? And I said, wow, that's a really good deal. And he did something for me, he got the ice cream and was jolly happy. And I went down to him again and I said, Nicholas, did that help? And he said, yeah, that really helped. And then after that, he never screamed again. He was three years old. When he was three and a half years old, he came to me and said, Daddy, can I get 298 kroner for a Ninja Turtle car? I said, no, you can't. He turned around, did not scream, did not shout, and he went into solution mode. He went out into the kitchen where my mother was, uh, and he'd started creating some, you know, doing uh, lemonade, and they made waffles together. And before I knew it, they went out of the door, carried the plastic table down to the street, and set up the table with cloth and waffles and lemonade. My mother was hiding behind a tree, and Nicholas was stopping cars selling waffles and lemonade. It was three and a half. And after a little while, I was watching this from the balcony. Um, and I maybe it took like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, and uh, apparently he got 400 kroners out of it. He went to my mother, gave her 100 kroner for doing the waffles and the lemonade and for carrying the table down and up again. And he took the 300 kroner, came up to me and said, Daddy, can you drive me to the store for two kroner? I said, yes, I will do that. So that's an example of teaching a kid to do what helps and not do that which doesn't help. Now, I pondered this lately. What does it mean to help? What, what is helpful in a situation? And for me, that boils down to greater freedom of choice. So any action that helps people gain more freedom of choice is an ethical action. An action that limits people, uh, people's uh, choice or ability to choose is a less ethical action. So if you are deciding whether you should move into this town or that town, you should decide on the basis, or I would decide on the basis of what gives more freedom of choice. For me and everybody involved in any given situation. So I have to look at, does this limit freedom of choice for many, for me, for everybody involved? If it does, I will not do it. And if something gives more freedom of choice, I would do that action instead. So let's take a controversial example. If you are choosing between becoming a teacher or becoming a drug dealer, then if you're a good teacher, you have the ability to raise people's awareness, the kids' awareness, by teaching them to think by themselves, not the usual educational system that you have in many countries, but if you're a good teacher, you can do this. You can raise people's awareness, you can make them think better, and they will get a greater freedom of choice. Now, you might say that you earn more by being a drug dealer. So that would give you more freedom of choice because earning more money gives more freedom of choice. But then again, if you're a drug dealer, you can get into a risky situation where you get yourself in jail, which severely limits your freedom of choice. And also, without getting into jail, you can now not talk about certain things. That limits your freedom of choice. A certain action that you cannot do, which limits your freedom of choice. And then also you're pushing drugs on people. Some of them get addicted which limits their freedom of choice. Those that do not get addicted get a hit in their awareness. They become more drugged, they become less able to drive a car under influence, and they become not so good at judging situation, which then brings their freedom of choice down. 
So anything that raises awareness or raises inspiration gives more freedom of choice. Anything that limits awareness, limits knowledge, limits the freedom of choice. So an artist who inspires people, give them more passion, raises their awareness, raises their creativity, gives more freedom of choice. Anything that helps people come out of poverty creates more freedom of choice. So anything that helps in that sense is a more ethical action for me than things that limits people's freedom of choice. It boils down to this simplicity really.